the NDT. Yes. So why don't you start implementing this? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, this, this, this can take 20 years, 15 years, we will always say it is a problem of mindset, it is a societal value, the women should feel secure, environment should be yeah, good. Absolutely. But yeah. I will say, mm -hmm. even you simply start implementing the act, mm. just see, see the result. Whatever change has come in Haryana or Punjab, I will like to say Punjab only. Mm. After the PCP and the act was passed in 2003, in the during the last Next four or five years. There has been a difference? Huh? There was a difference. 2005 or 2011. And then after that, when there But you still have so many eliminations. 30,000 girls are being eliminated still. Yeah, I agree. But 7,000 per day. 7,000 per day. I mean, that's a shocking figure. I mean, it's still. Implementation is not a good thing. PNDT is not a good thing. Her act is a women are related. The conviction rate is high. First, implementation is properly. Then, the conviction rate is high. So, when you say 7,000 a day, you're talking about Punjab particularly or you're talking about Pan India? 7,000 eliminations. But, India. In India. In India. Right. Per day. Per day. I have a case in the past. I have a conviction. Because I have a baby. I have a wife report. I have a fancy. I have a fancy. I have a conviction rate. 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 I a little normal. That's after this break. Welcome back. We're talking about the school's uh, sex ratio in the country, in fact, more in the region. Um, Okay, I'll, I'll leave it open. I'll first ask Mr. Manmohan, do we look at it in the first place? Do we look at it as a crime? Yes, is, is killing your fetus yeah. before it's born, yeah. knowing the sex, is yeah. it a crime? I will say it is a crime, not only sin, it is a crime. Yeah, and um, Bhati, how would you uh, respond? Yeah, it's a crime, it's a crime against morality. But if you look at it from a woman's point of view, mm -hmm. I mean, don't you want the best possible life for your own self, if I was to ask you? Mm -hmm. And in this case, given the situation which is, I mean, we discussed extensively, poor situation for women, etc., etc. So, how does she make the best out of her worst deal? By having a male child. So, why not? Imagine yourself mm -hmm. in that situation. Or if I was to imagine myself in that situation, I would ensure that I have a male child. After all, I want a good life for myself. So, so you see, mm -hmm. the point is also this. At one point, if you look at the 2009 or 10 figures, figures of female employment, mm -hmm. women in gainful employment, mm -hmm. that's just 15%. So, only 15% of women all India are gainfully employed. So, that means in a sense they are dependent upon the husband. Mm -hmm. I will not say family, I will just say husband, right? Mm -hmm. So, if there is this kind of a structural dependency, then don't you want the best possible deal for yourself? So, it is a crime against morality, but if you were to look at, you know, crime against morality, crime against society, crime against the world, everything. Mm -hmm. But from a personal perspective, why wouldn't I want a best deal for myself in this society? So I have to live a life. Okay, I, I get that. Uh -huh. So, in uh, other words, I will just bring you in ma'am. Uh, in other words, I want the best for my child. Is what for yourself also. For first myself. First yourself. Okay, for myself. So, if I wanted an uh, easy way out, I would rather have a boy. The only way, way out. The okay. only way out. All right. But if I know that it is a girl yeah. and I go ahead and kill it, yeah. what do I say? that I am getting the best possible deal that I can. Do you think yeah. so? At the end of the day, we become so mercenary <laughs> and you no, say it does not matter. You see, <laughs> like, no, imagine yourself saying. in that helpless situation. <laughs> you are facing okay. domestic violence day in and day out. Your sister-in-law who has been blessed with a male child. Mm -hmm. I mean, just try and think. I am not, uh, and please don't misunderstand that I am, you know, no, advocating all of this. No, 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 not, not at all. all. Not at all. But all that I am saying is, you are giving us a different perspective. Unless this situation improves for women, mm -hmm. security of women or whatever you bring in, unless it improves. Dr. Gurinder, would you agree to what uh, Ma'am Bhatia is saying? No, that means that the people who are in the world are going to die, but I don't want to die. No, no, no. Why? The situation is not going to die. The situation is not going to die, but it is that when we say that 
ਮੱਥਾ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਟੇਕਦੇ ਆਂ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੇਵੀ ਦੇ ਮੰਦਰ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਪੁੱਤ ਮੰਗ ਕੇ ਲਿਆਉਣਾ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਬੇਟਾ ਮੰਗ ਕੇ ਲਿਆਉਣਾ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਉਸੇ ਬੁੱਕ ਚ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਔਰਤ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਹੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜਨਮ ਦਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਅੱਗੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਅਸੀਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੋ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਚਿਹਰੇ ਕਿਉਂ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਬੇਸ਼ੱਕ ਮੈਂ ਔਰਤ ਹਾਂ ਬੇਸ਼ੱਕ ਮੈਂ ਬੰਦਾ ਪਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਹ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਹੈ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਇਹਦੇ ਲਈ ਸਜ਼ਾ ਵੀ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇੱਥੇ ਤਾਂ ਕੰਪਲੇਂਟ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਲਾ ਵੀ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਸਜ਼ਾ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ ਆਪ ਹੀ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਇਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਇਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਦੇ ਇੱਕ ਗੱਲ ਹੋਰ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵੀ ਸਬੋਰਡੀਨੇਟ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਇੱਕ ਮੇਲ ਡੋਮੀਨੇਟ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਸਾਡੀ ਸੋਸਾਇਟੀ ਚ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਉਦਾਂ ਦਾ ਰੈਲਿਸ਼ ਕਰਾਂ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਸਾਡੀ ਸਿਕਸ ਰੇਸ਼ੋ ਘਟ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਤੂੰ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਹੈਲਥ ਸਰਵੇ ਵਾਲੇ ਨੇ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਹੈ ਡਾਟਾ ਮੈਂ ਘਰ ਲਿਆ ਚ ਫੀਮੇਲ ਡੋਮੀਨੇਟਡ ਸੋਸਾਇਟੀ ਹੈ ਉੱਥੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਚ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੀਕ ਪ੍ਰੈਫਰੈਂਸ ਹੈ ਸੰਦੀ ਇਹ ਕੋਈ ਇੱਕ ਸਟੇਟ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਸੰਦੀ ਵੀਕ ਪ੍ਰੈਫਰੈਂਸ ਹੈ ਦੋ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਹੈ ਮਿਜ਼ੋਰਮ ਤੇ ਮਨੀਪੁਰ ਨਾ ਮੇਘਾਲਿਆ ਤੇ ਮਿਜ਼ੋਰਮ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉੱਥੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਫੀਮੇਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਹੈ ਸੋਸਾਇਟੀ ਚ ਉਹ ਮੀਲਸ ਨਾਲ ਹਾਈ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਮੀਲ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਹੋਣੇ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਜੀ ਸੋਸਾਇਟੀ ਜੀ ਕੇ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਹੋਰ ਇਦਾਂ ਦੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਜਨਮ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਇਟਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਬਿਕਾ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਮੈਟਰੀਅਲ ਸੋਸਾਇਟੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਮੇਗਾਲੇ if you hmm. compare up to 20 year 30 year hmm. even in meghalaya and manipur the situation is not like yeah, yeah, mr sharma i'm absolutely <laughs> right i mean to respond yeah. for the i was talking to this woman just one single this thing then we can move on to the hmm. next point her quote was i see my daughter dying a thousand deaths in her entire lifetime isn't it better that i kill her once and for all a perspective because uh, you're no, saying that's the perspective in the field that's what women are saying i mean i so when how, it's married so she how do we go about changing this horrible thought giving somebody a life which she's not happy with that would be a way forward i mean you know corruption is such a big agenda today anna hazare and everybody is joining it do we think this is big enough to join it like that i mean why don't we have some a campaign like this then we are having and so basically it is a big problem even for i will not like to say um, that i was also part of anna hazare movement anyway mm-hmm. but is a kind of a genocide भैया दुश्मन को थोड़ा जन्म देना है भाई को दे डोट कॉल ब्रदर दे कॉल इट एनी वे सेकेंड थिंग ऑल दी टू स्मॉल फैमिली नॉर्म which has been basically introduced they were also responsible mm. third thing is state like punjab and haryana where tfr has been total mm. fertility has been reduced mm. it has come in punjab 1.9 mm. so i think i needed to focus the whole attention from this thing to that thing right pehle punjab mein the fertility rate sare states se reduce ho rahe hain te wo bhi at the cost of the females ho rahe hain mean child de jehde fertility rate hai ya growth rate hai wo females to har state ch high hai data mein hone analyze kita te ode ch sare ch aa rahe hai ke jehda sex ratio hai matlab jehdi girl child de ho hai growth hai as compared to the male child is lesser or okay. lower than the previous decade you have 2% right. so you are blaming uh, you are no. also saying science no. is a no. problem no. we are uh, uh, other side of the family planning is you are having a half a percent the number of girls at the you are only having a daughter mm-hmm. you have one and a half percent or say 2% mm-hmm. family mm-hmm. who has only daughter and 98% are either one girl oh, child so you say no, only 2% percent, only 2% percent are uh, people in our country are prefer so the daughters also. than the sons ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਤਾਂ ਮੁੰਡੇ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ 
बिगनिंग <laughs> 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 move up and what is your small beginning what would you suggest first like uh, we were discussing earlier today mm. the best point the for, uh, to my mind the way forward would be first start targeting the me medical fraternity the brotherhood of doctors is so very strong mm. that you know in today's uh, earlier earlier in the day the doctors are very fact you just li likely pointed a fingers at the doctors and said that look the doctors are criminals at the end and at the end of the day mm. and more so if you're talking about you know privatization of the medical services mm. and 95% and with nrhm mm. most of the medical services are getting privatized in any case mm. so how do you regulate the doctors so th the thing that really has to work is you start targeting the doctors the uh, because aren't they being criminals here yes. i mean yeah. a doctor yeah. at the end of the day is not a businessman they are uh, he is supposed to be serving the humanity yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely oh, that's, and that's the hippocratic oath you take so i think they should take they should renew their hippocratic oath as far as <laughs> as much as possible or let me i'll just come to you uh, yes more than 200 crore and 300 crore big this business nursing or one you want to you don't have any you say okay yes you don't have any regulatory for the nursing home uh -huh. you don't have any regulatory for other sure. doctor hmm. you don't have anything hmm. it have it is a business hmm. doctors protecting doctors it is a business ho, 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 it is a idea ji hone hi chahiye because a jada profession hai doctor sala honorable pr pr profession hai e life no save karan layi hai e nahi hai ek इम्पलीमेंट नहीं हो रहा And you know, if you go one step back, mm -hmm. begin with the medical education. Why do you have so many private medical colleges mm -hmm. which charge you so much fees? Mm -hmm. So you've taken student loans. Don't mm -hmm. you want to pay them off? Mm -hmm. So, so how you will you pay them off? So you go through hook and crook and you try. Right. So the point is that you start regulating the education uh, right. sector right. more. Right. You know, I am just going to complete. You know, we have, we our time is coming to an end. We have to finish, but very quickly, uh, Mr. Manmohan, what would yeah. you say? Yeah, see, would I, will, uh, I will like to say until now, sir, you don't have any holistic approach. Yeah. Which means legal implementation, yeah. which means ethical implementation, which you, which means other implementation. Yeah. Until then, you if you go on single-handedly yeah. implementing the PCB, that will not yield. Yeah. So somewhere you have to have a holistic approach, as Madam Bhatia said. You have to kind of sustained effort. Yeah. Not only this. For all okay. kind of this, ma'am, do you think that there is a sustained effort now? I mean, I don't know how sustained, but do you think there is an effort in the first place? Um. So I don't know. I don't think so because what I would say is that what's happening is that you know you can't coerce people. Right now it's coercion which is reflecting in the census figures, hmm. maybe, right? Hmm. But uh, unless that starts reflecting structurally, hmm. as far as you know, women are concerned, as far as the gender equation, and let's not forget that it's not just women; it's hmm. men also who are a part of the scenario. Nobody even discusses what men are doing. Ma'am, last words. What would you say? What okay. could be? दो ही जराने चीज़ें होनी चाहिए थी, incentives भी होनी चाहिए थी, punishment भी होनी चाहिए थी. And severe punishment. हाँ. Yeah. And I'll, I'll have to leave it at that. Thank you so much. Well, it would be pointless to reiterate that a lot needs to be done to bring about an improvement in the declining sex ratio in Punjab. However, the question remains: Who will take the initiative? On that introspective note, we end this edition of Prime. Till we meet again, it's good luck and goodbye.